What's going on everybody and welcome to my winter EDC or everyday carry episode. So this particular episode, I want to talk about what I am currently carrying as well as what I will be carrying for this winter. Now, if you're not familiar with EDC or everyday carry, pretty much it is the items that you have to carry with you every single day. Or in my case, it's going to be very, very often. And I like to include that because I tend to change out things a little bit here and there. So I like to keep it as realistic as possible. And hopefully that is conveyed to you guys as well. So I have a very simple and light setup, in my opinion, of what I'm pretty much going to carry every single day with me. So some of these items may get changed out just a little bit. And that may be exchanged with another item. Or I may not carry it at that specific moment or short time frame. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's go ahead and talk about a few items laying here but before we get started i want to mention that you may not see a particular item laying out right here and that's because i kind of have some options of which one i want to choose for that one thing to carry and hopefully that makes sense but we're going to talk a little bit more about that a little bit later in the video so one of the cool things i appreciated with you guys watching which it was my spring edc now this is one of my original hobbies or original interests so it's pretty cool that you guys like to watch these videos it does have a variety in my loadout it's pretty cool to see that that video did pretty good so yeah i thought i'll continue that with you guys let's go ahead and dive right in so the first item i'm going to talk about is my camera and that is the fuji xt4 now i have talked about my camera in one of my latest videos so i won't go too much in depth as to you know why is my camera of choice mainly because that's probably best for another video but my fuji st4 it pretty much has to go everywhere with me i do enjoy photography and vlogging and just content creation within itself so i have been really really enjoying carrying this camera and pretty much this setup the lenses does change you know here and there but the 15 to 45 millimeter lens is a versatile lens that i have in my kit right now and so i feel like i can capture photos with this lens as well as do some blogging if i wanted to and it has a decent focal range that has been very useful to me and that i enjoy personally so i just love the fuji system and it is my second fuji camera that i purchased and and I just enjoy this setup a lot. Now, it does add a little bit of weight to my everyday carry, but I will say it's pretty much the only thing that's pretty heavy in my bag, but it's, it's still relatively a light setup. That's one of the things that I try to watch out just a little bit with weight is to make sure that it's versatile and I can carry it and I want to carry it because it's not too heavy, but definitely still get the quality I'm looking for. So while weight is not a huge deal for me, it still has to fit in the bags that I use and I carry my EDC in. So again, yeah, the Fuji ST4, really good camera. I still plan to share my experience with it because it is coming up on a full year since I've had it. And also the 15 to 45 millimeter lens is a underrated lens in my opinion because it is versatile. Now, while it's not the best lens out there, of course, in the Fuji system, it is still a decent lens that if you have a really strict budget or you, know, you don't wanna break the bank, I think it's a good pickup you know, at least it has been for me but i do want to talk a little bit more about this lens in another video but yeah this is just to give you an idea of my camera choice and what system i'm currently in i've been really happy with fuji so <sighs> I don't know, like it's looking like I'm, I'm a major Fuji lover for sure. But other than that, really like this camera a lot and look forward to sharing more about it. And by the way, previously the camera I was carrying around with me was my Fuji XS10, which is recording me right now. That camera is even a smaller camera if you want a lighter setup. So if I don't carry my ST4, then I will grab my SS10 and I just wanna make my setup super light. So with me talking about my camera, um, I just want to quickly go over the accessories or the items that I have to carry with me or like to carry with me. But these are important items that I'm generally going to carry with me at all times. So I thought I'd include them in this video as well. 
and that is my SD cards, which are in this case right here. And so I just keep all my SD cards in here. As you can tell, I'm running out of space and I actually have some extra spaces underneath for micro SD cards. This is a really decent case. I have enjoyed it. I have been using it for a while now. Definitely it might be needing to pick up a second one. And lastly, for my camera accessories, is another Fuji film battery and this is for my ST4 of course. I do have extra smaller batteries for my SS10 if I was to carry that. I always carry really two extra batteries but this battery lasts so long that I don't really need to carry two but I generally do but I'm gonna have one for sure depending on the bag that I'm carrying or using at that time and this one that I'm currently using I've been enjoying it so much and I've only really needed to carry one and generally I don't have to use it but it's always good to have some backups with you so next I'm going to talk about my key fob case of course got to keep my keys on me this is the case that I'm currently using in my spring EDC video I did mention that I wanted to change out my case because the other one was a little too bulky and it just started to like be a little bit too much and I wasn't carrying hardly anything besides my keys and a small card so I found this case right here is so like much easier to carry my keys in a much quicker easy grab and go and takes a way less space than my last key fob case so this one is much better it's sleeker I like it a lot so I have been enjoying this and just the detail match kind of like my entire setup for my vehicle as well as just generally I grab towards black and red for some reason my key fob fits perfectly in the sleeve it's just been amazing now one thing I will say is a tight fit and that's good because I didn't want my key fob to fall out of the case that is a big plus for me with this one so next I'm going to talk about the wallet of choice currently I'm using a coach wallet now this probably is kind of more of a lifestyle wallet but I've been carrying coach wallets for a very long time probably about around 10 years now and I usually keep one as just a wallet that I like to change and incorporate in my rotation but I haven't had one in a long time so I got this as a gift last year for Christmas really warmed my heart a lot to get it because I've been talking about picking up one for a while and just never got around to it so it was really nice that I got it as a gift from a family member and it's just been matching my setup very well I love this color it's kind of like a neutral design and color for me me because I have a lot of browns and blacks and you know of course brown and black matches well with olive to me so it's just been ah, a joy to have one back in the rotation so I can carry all my cards in this wallet and I can probably throw in an extra card if I wanted to I use all the slots that are available so this has been my main wallet definitely the last few months I would say last four maybe even five months so it's going to continue into the winter EDC and as you can tell from my usage of the last four months for sure it looks pretty good that's one of the main things I like about coach wallets they're very doable for my usage and it takes a lot for them to wear it down from my experience over the years of using them. Definitely love this wallet a lot and it even fits into more of a minimalistic carry as well. I haven't had something this lightweight in a while I feel like so the fact that it flows into my rotation throughout the year is pretty cool. So next I want to talk about my AirPods Pro. Now I've talked about these in the last two videos and I'm not going to bore you guys again with the same reasons why I carry my AirPods Pros. It's probably pretty obvious anyway. Again, part of my tech EDC and my just general EDC and I just pretty much appreciate how convenient these are to my rotation and my usage and just fit so well or work well with the main devices that I have and that I use every single day. So of course you've probably seen these coming but this is probably one of the items that don't always go in my bag. It's definitely more on a very regular basis. But yeah, just thought I'd quickly mention the current earbuds that I'm using. All right, so we are winding down on the items. I do love watches and this is one of my favorite watches that I've purchased in a long time. It actually kind of sparked my 
watch interest again, to be honest, because for a minute, I kind of like just went with what was convenient at the time. But as of late, I really got back into my watches. And so this is the Citizen Eco Drive Weekender Chronograph Watch. Now this watch just looks gorgeous in my opinion, and it just has a versatile look to it. I feel like I can dress this one up as well as wear it casually. It was on my wrist at one point in time this year for at least a month, maybe even two months. And the main selling point for this watch to me was the fact that it doesn't require a battery replacement. The battery can go dead, but I can solo charge the battery. That right there was like, oh, I have to get it, to be honest. Like, this is kind of perfect because that was the one known thing about watches for me was having to replace the battery. I can charge it from any type of source of light. So I love the fact that Citizen definitely incorporated that idea into their watches. So while it is a little bit more expensive than most watches, I definitely appreciate the fact that it has that feature. For my lifestyle, it kind of fits and makes a little bit more sense now that's the thing like i try to pick one that i know is going to fit very well in my rotation but yeah so i've had this watch for several months and it still looks good with the leather band right here um of course as you can tell it has some wear around it i think that as character i am a sucker for leather so to me little wear and tear on the leather pieces or parts of an item just adds some character to it so that's another reason why i decided to go with this one because I can have it for a long time and it still looks good with this age. So again, this is one of the items that I change out regularly, but it's definitely gonna go into my winter rotation. As of now though, I'm just wearing a, another Citizen watch. Something, you know, not too flashy. Um, I don't like a lot going on too much with watches, but I like the bigger faces. I try to stay around like 40, maybe 42, 44 millimeters. Nothing too big that will look strange on my wrist. That size tends to fit my wrist very well. This is what I've been wearing a lot. And I know you think, well, this silver can show scratches and everything, but it's upheld pretty well. I'm be honest with you. And sometimes I'm not that careful and I can easily bump it into something but I try to watch out for things and not bump into stuff the main thing is this watch can sustain any little bumps or scuffs so that's what I like about this one and why it has been my main watch so far but yeah can't say enough about citizen watches they're definitely one of my favorite brands now and I enjoy their pieces so being that I failed to mention my watch in my spring EDC video so I appreciate the commenter that left that feedback for me I don't know how how I forgot that but I did so I uh, wanted to make sure I include it in the next one and moving forward so thank you so much again for leaving that feedback next I gotta quickly talk about my lip chap I know this may be a weird one but I carry lip chap and it is a very important item for me to carry as part of my EDC just to quickly share what I use and this definitely is one of the items that changes out the most I recently started trying different kinds of lip chap just to kind of test out and see what works for me lately i've been using this uh vaseline of course this is you know not extravagant and this one in particular has like the lip therapy aloe vera included and that is a main ingredient for me that works a lot for various different reasons but it's okay more have became a backup option if i can grab something a little bit better so previously i mentioned that i had used this particular lip chap and this one is by blistex definitely wasn't my favorite for sure i definitely like another product in the same line i I'm gonna pick up another one of the one I liked. This one was okay, it just wasn't all that great. It probably will be a backup option to the one I prefer, but this is just to get you an idea of the lip chaps that I use. So we are finally talking about my phone again. So the phone that I'm currently using is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So this is another tech product that I talked about in my latest videos. Again, you know, just wanna cover just the high key points in this one. Of course, my phone is part of my EDC. I just wanna show you guys like the current setup that I have for it. So I decided to throw on the Sequoia Green case and this is the Apple version. I like how it has that fall color to it and it matches well with other so you know these colors are really nice and go well together and I have been enjoying these colors a part of my you know fall winter setup I have the 
the Apple MadSafe wallet and this is the one with the Find My feature. And so you may be wondering why am I carrying essentially two wallets? Well, the Apple MadSafe wallet only can fit three cards. That is perfect for me. So this wallet can fit those main three cards, which is very important for me. I don't have to feel like I have to leave one behind. And as I mentioned in another video, the Find My feature is really the main selling point and why I pretty much will grab MadSafe wallet over a third party wallet simply because of that feature. By it being a part of my winter EDC, I feel like it won't take up too much space and it can be a backup wallet on my phone. Now I haven't done this before, so this is gonna be a test run to see how well this works for me during the winter time and if it continues into my EDC rotation. So we are finally closing out the items that I will be carrying this winter. And this one is a new addition. So I've never carried a fidget toy. Shout out to the EDC creators out there that share their fidget toys. And this one I saw that was really neat. So I thought I'd pick this one up. Kind of glad that I did. So it definitely helps with my anxiety and you know, while I'm working and something that I need to kind of like slow my thoughts down a little bit. I feel like this has been helping some and it may be my rotation here and there but this is definitely going to be a test run for me carrying it and i'm pretty excited so again this one looks pretty cool it's new to the edc loadout and i did a little small unboxing of it so i'll probably throw that up at the end of the video just to show you guys what came with it because it was pretty nice all right, so here we are. This is the specific item that I was referring to at the beginning of the video that you didn't see in the flat layout of what my EDC is. That's because I'm deciding, you know, of which new tool, it could be a multi-tool or a different knife that I'm gonna carry. I previously was carrying a very small knife or a super light setup. Generally wanted to keep that an item that I can have discreetly. So if you watch my, maybe my first EDC video that I did last year. I believe it was last year, maybe the year before that. I purchased these knives that I didn't even get a chance to use yet. So they have been sitting in the box waiting for me to put them in rotation. I'm excited to finally get into them. So we're going to start with the first one. Okay, so here is the SOG. This is their multi-tool EDC pen light. And I just had to get this one mainly because, I'm going to be honest with you, it looks pretty dope in my opinion. So I thought I would add this to my EDC rotation. It is the Baton Q2. So this one includes a flashlight, knife, a screwdriver, and a bottle opener. So that's four different tools in this one. I don't know if I can ask for anything else quite like this product right here. While it may be a little long, but it's really slim, there may be other multi-tools out there that are even smaller than this. But this is my first one, and I thought it was a pretty decent cop. And you get a battery that's included which is pretty good and that's the flashlight being on really neat design this is so neat and this one also has a pocket clip included on the back so if you want to carry this in your pocket you can definitely do that so that was another good feature that i liked about this one all right so in the larger box i have the gerber tri-tip mini cleaver now this one is a fixed blade this one is kind of like that butcher knife look and I was just a sucker for this one. It just looks so cool and I have no idea what this is because it's been in the box this entire time. But yeah, and it has this nice Sequoia green, the scales. A little bit of small branding here and this one has the, what I will call a holster and it clips in just like that. Definitely has a tactical look to it. I'm looking to, you know, maybe add this to the rotation. So we definitely shall see. And lastly, we have the Gerber Quadrant. This one is another one I picked up a couple of years ago. I thought this was an interesting design. This is just more for like looks and I just like how this one looks pretty much. Now, while I'm not a knife expert, I just generally can like gravitate more so to the aesthetics of the knife than get into all the little specs about them so probably enthusiasts that would say why they would choose a certain style of knife so this one again is more fun looking and an affordable pickup as well definitely looking to break this one out as boss as well all right so the decision i'm gonna make going into my rotation first i'm gonna have to go with the sog or the sog multi-tool 
This one just has so much versatility to it. It's really a category within itself. So I really wouldn't say like, oh, this is the knife choice per se because it's a multi-tool. So it has more benefits of carrying it. So that's why I'm gonna just add this one first in a definitely a decent size blade that's included. Yeah, this is gonna be the first one I add and you know, looking forward to show you guys a little bit more about it and as well as the other ones. So right, you guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I surely enjoyed making it. Again, I think it's really cool that you guys are liking these types of videos because I really wanted to start incorporating more EDC style videos. I do it with tech, so I kind of want to just, you know, add my rotation of non-tech EDC items within my channel. Again, I appreciate you guys watching. So this is pretty much going to be my winter EDC loadout. Let me know what you guys are carrying. So typically I know people EDCs can vary and what is cool to see other people using. And you guys already know the drill. Hopefully you consider subscribing as well as giving this video a thumbs up. And if you know someone who's interested in these types of videos or just you would like to share my videos, that'll be really cool. With all that being said, I hope to see you guys in my next one and stay safe out there. Peace.